everybody, welcome back to Lift Rain Tool On. Today we have something really cool, something that's been anticipated for a long time from the Ryobi world, and that is the 3 8 inch, and I'm going to call this the nut runner because it is the ratcheting wrench. We have, a, and this is the HP version, and everyone's been waiting for that because the previous version was a little bit lackluster. I caught it a little bit of flack for when I did the review because I was pretty disappointed in it. Now this one has more torque, and if you haven't noticed, it, has a, it actually is the long neck version. And the reason why I wanted the long neck version is because you need to get into those tight spaces so you can work on vehicles. Now you can use this as a ratchet because it goes forward and reverse. You can set that um, on, the head, on the ratcheting head itself. This can actually produce up to 55 foot pounds of torque, which is really nice. That's a 15 pound increase from the previous version, not the HP version. Now this is called the HP version, but it does not have the extra contacts inside. So what we're utilizing here is we're utilizing the new technology and the thermistors and the safeties that are built into this in or into the motor itself. If you can see here, you have dual lights on both sides. Something that's really cool about this as well is that you have one, two, three, four. Four positions that the head can go in, and that's really key because this has a fat base on it, and that doesn't allow you to get into a lot of uh, situations. So you can, you know, push this in depending on where the battery is going to go, and you can rotate the head. Now this does have the paddle, so it's not a button or it's not a click. I think that's really key in this. For this, a lot of people like the paddle. I think they're easy to use, um, and you have a lot of controllability when you're working on vehicles as well. It does have a lock here, so you're not going to accidentally hit that button and drain your battery if it's laying in your toolbox. So with that being said, I think what we really need to look at, can this actually produce the torque that it advertises? So we're going to take it over to the torque station. We're going to torque a couple things down. We're going to break it loose. All right, so we're going to see how much torque we can actually produce. Let's see if we can't get 55 foot-pounds out of this. Okay. Oh. Okay, so that's all we're going to get out of there. Let's take the torque wrench and see what we got. Okay, here we go. Oh, look at this. Look at that. 54.4, so that's right on the money. This actually produced 55 foot-pounds of torque. So let's see if we can't torque this to 55 foot-pounds and then break it loose. Okay, so that's a 55. Have this set. Oh, so it actually broke it loose too. It took a couple times, right? So let's see if we can't just tighten it and loosen it here. Okay, so that's pretty tight. We know that's a 55 foot pounds. We tested it. All right, breaks it loose, you just gotta get it started a couple times there. All right, so this is worlds away from the previous version of this, the non-HP version. Uh, this produced 55 foot-pounds, uh, and it actually fastened it to 55 foot-pounds. And then, breaking away from 55 foot-pounds, it took me a couple times of hitting this, but it actually broke it loose too. So, I will say that the advertising for this, the marketing for this, well, it's accurate, and that's what you want whenever you get these tools. Now, for something that has an extended shaft as well, typically you do lose some power there because the further you go out from the motor, well, you know, you get it gets weaker because it's, it's just a linear deflection. Um, so for this to actually produce, even with a longer head, um, on here having the ability to spin this around, getting into tight places, having the dual lights on top, so when you, re, uh, so when you rotate this, you have light there. You can buy this at the Home Depot. I paid $150 for it. Now this was for the tool only right here. So they're getting heavier into the mechanics market. And with that being said, they're increasing their tools. Uh, the values are going higher. So they are going to cost a little bit more. Uh, I'm sure that they will have 
a kit that comes out with this as well, but if you can't wait for it and you really want this now, hey, go out there and get it. I hope that you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Hey, see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. All right, guys, so I it was actually... <laughs> <laughs> you calamity. <laughs> okay. Serious. Action.